Father in heaven, we thank you for this precious and beautiful day you have given unto all of us. Here we are, God, gathered in thy house to meet with you and to worship the God of creation. We thank you for this privilege to call you Father. This privilege to worship you once again. This privilege to bow before you and call you Lord. We thank you for the ministration of thy Holy Spirit to our spiritual man, O oh God. As we earnestly reached out to thee and ministered to thee in our spiritual man. And you are no man's debtor. You will always meet with us on the ground that we want to meet with you. For thy word says, he that cometh to God must believe that he is God. As he is. And he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness that we could experience, yes, once again. Lord, we thank you for your word that you are ministering to us week after week. Lord, your kindness we have experienced in manifold ways. Yes, your God, we have seen your kindness and your great love visiting us in these days. Showing us, Lord, what is upon your heart. Where you want us to come. And what you want us to be. Where you want to take us on. Lord, you have been making your will and wills known unto us. Faithful one. We once again bring our lives to thee. This morning, Lord, it's our prayer that we would hear your voice. Beyond words of men. <clears throat> Help each one of us to be available to that work of thy spirit to bring understanding, to bring us to that place of knowing what the will of God is. To know the hope of our calling. Therefore, Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would continue a work within us this morning as we remain yielded to thy Spirit. Help all of us, therefore, to be actively alive in our spiritual man. Dear Lord, we also pray this time for my brethren and myself. We need your grace of God. We need your unction and anointing. The power of thy spirit to once again share what you have laid upon our hearts, O God. Our dependency is on you. We are so frail in every aspect. 
Many a time the outer man is so weak. And it affects the spiritual man. And the spiritual man is seen in, in great battles. Yes, O God, therefore we seek you. Even as thy great servant sought for utterances. Lord, we pray and seek you for utterances. O oh God, that you would give us words to share what you have laid upon our hearts. For there is always a battle to bring your mind and present it to God's people. Father, therefore, look up unto thee once again. Pour out your spirit upon us. Lead us and guide us, Holy Spirit. Words may be granted unto us. That your word may reach every hungry soul, every hungry heart, and your word would find a lodging place in everyone. Lord, this is our prayer. We yield ourselves to the Lordship of thy spirit once again this morning. Lead us and guide us, Spirit of God, into all that you have for us today. Lord, that we may hear your voice, hear what the Spirit has to say to his people, to the church, even today. Help us, Father. We worship thee, bless thee, we give you all the glory and praise. And in Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray. We thank and bless the Lord for every word the Lord has been speaking to us over these past couple of weeks. Gatha kuni varal nchi Prabhu manato matlar thunna prati matan bati Prabhu ki vandanal tilijes thunnam aradhan ches thunnam. God is faithful. Deodu namma thagena vado. And I know that. I am able to experience his faithfulness afresh in my life. Uh, as God has been opening our eyes to see, God's mind for his people is that God's people must come into God's preordained will. Now, we see that in the history of God's people in the Bible. We saw from the book of even the prophets Haggai and Zechariah how much the Lord really wanted the remnant of God to complete the building of the house of God. And we know all that God has spoken to us. And we are grateful to God for everything He has ministered to us. And in all that God spoke to us, we see the way God deals with His people. The way that He has been dealing with God's people, working with God's people. The way God reacts with God's people. You know, these things we are able to see in God's word. We see the prophets bringing it before God's people. We see that the apostles bringing it before the church. God's divine intentions and also God's divine you know uh, reactions. You know when God's people will defect from the way and the will of God. <coughs> and so we heard many precious counsels 
from god's word devuna lekanulla nunchi ilanti shreshtham ani vishayalu manu chustunnam and my only request to all of us is manandarki na yokka udde na yokka vinati let's not deviate from the real burden of the lord in our lives mana jeevithamlo prabhu kaliginatundi aa bharam nunchi veru kaakudadani but let's be available to god devuniki andu baatulo undam we saw even sakaraya zakariya grandam chusam kada very clearly telling god's people devunu prajalaku chala spashtanga cheptunadu they need to repent vaaru pachchatta padalani they cannot be like the fathers vaari pitarlo valle undalu koddu and it is that ground of repentance that will bring about a restoration aa pachchatta apam anatundi bhubhagamlone aayana manlalo tirigi sampurtha chestaru how they need to know the time and how the will of god ought to be done dev var samayalu telusukovali devuni chittanni ela telusukovali anadi manu chusam we then move to the uh, book of daniel daniel grandhamlokku vellam manam where we saw daniel how sensitive he was to the times of god devuni samayalaku daniel enta jnapti tho unnadu manu chusam and he says Daniel had the understanding Mano, by the books grandhala dwara devuniki daniel ki grahimpu shakti kanna you know he came to an understanding by the books grandhamla dwara aa grahimpu lo varuku vachadu you know and the lord has been speaking to us about the understanding prabhu yokka understanding grahimpu that can only come by the holy spirit adi kevalam parishuddha aatma dwara maatram ostundi it is ostundi. different from a mental understanding an apprehension of the truth manushin yokka grahimpu shak vishayam undadi bhinnamainadi manushulku unnatundi understanding ledhu we saw from the book of matthew 13 manam mattai 13th adhyayam chusam the man who received the word oka vyakti vakyam pondina tarvata and he understood not adaduku ardham kaaka is like unto the seed that is fallen on the wayside adadu throva prakkabadinatundi vitnalu padinu and the wicked one came and picked away those seeds dushtudu vachi aa vitnalu ettukonu poyadu you know that which was sown in the hearts adi hrudayam vandu vittabadindi but had no understanding grahimpu leka podabadindi it is like unto the man who the where the seeds have fallen on the wayside adi throva prakkabadinatundi vitnalu kalana vyakti laga unnadi and the wicked one came and picked it away atadu shatru vachi teeskunel you know the word vanished ayakka vakyam hrudayi pindi we have seen that happening in our lives mana jeevithallo kuda ade vishayam chustunna the word మన వాక్యం వింటాం అప్రిషియేట్ మెచ్చుకుంటాం we have some understanding కొద్ది పాటి మన గ్రహింప ఉన్నది which is more a mental understanding అది దాంట్లోనూ కూడా ఎక్కువ మానసికమైనదే and by that time the week ends ఆ వారం ముగించేటప్పటికి the weekly bible studies are over వారంతపు బైబిల్ స్టడీ అయిపోయింది the wicked one has taken all that word away అదృష్టుడు వచ్చి అవతరణలో తీరిపోతాడు no saints of god దేవుని ప్రతినిధులారా but we must realize మనం గుర్తించాల్సింది there is an understanding that comes by the holy spirit parishuddhaatma dwara vache atuvante grahimpu shakti undi and this is what paul prayed for the church in ephesus ephesus lo unnatuvante sangam korasu pravulu ila prarthana chesadu once again marla bhagana chuddam chapter chodhan, one of ephesians modati adhyayam ephesus guru patrika verse 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened me mano netramulu veligimpa padinandana telugu lo 17th vachanam the understanding the eyes of your understanding meeru mano netramulu veligimpa padinandana being enlightened veligimpa padinandana that he may know what is the hope of his calling ayana pilupu yokka nirikshana ettu tho teluskovalani let's not belittle the burden that god is bringing unto us prabhu manaku mana mundu teesukostunna bharam vishayamlo lekkalena undaddu the mental understanding will never help us manasikamaina atuvanti grahimpu manaku em athram sahayam padadu we need an understanding that comes by the spirit aatma dwara vachche atuvanti grahimpu shakti kavali and paul realized this paul deenu gurtinchadu concerning the church in ephesus ephesus sangalam batti and he prayed pradinchadu and he really sought the lord prabhuni vetikadu he prayed without ceasing for these yada tegaka ee parishuddhulu gurinchi pradinchadu So I would like to say this once again to all of us. Manandarku marla nenu cheppalanukuntunnanu. There's a great need for us to also 
have the understanding of the times ee samyalaki grahimpu shakti manaku kuda avasaram enadi understand by the word devunu vakyam dwara grahimpu understand what god is really bringing before us mana mundu teesukostunna dani vishayamlo devunu vishayam you know so we heard many precious counsels from god ee rakamga anekamaina shreshthamaina vishayalu manu chusam we'll turn to the book of ephesians chapter 5 ephesians 5th vachanam chustam from where we heard also akkada kuda manu chusam Paul's burden for the believers in Ephesus. Ephesus lo natu vanti bhaktulu gurinchi baramu. You know when darkness is increasing, andakaram pirugutunadi. He realized man gurtinchali that it could affect the saints of God. Adi parishuddala meeda kuda prabhavam chustaru. Unless they will be strong to resist that that darkness can also come into them balanga da nidriste tappa aa andhakaram kuda varlo dooru poi pramadam unnadu unless they are walking in the light varu velugulo nadiste tappa you know the darkness can overtake them varu aa andhakaram varni dayinchaledu so these are very important things idu chaala pramukhyamainadi we heard very clearly chaala spashtanga vinnam every rejection of light produces a measure of darkness వెలుగును వ్యతిరేకించినప్పుడల్లా కూడా అంత అంధకారం వచ్చి చేరుకుంటుంది యూనో ద మెషర్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ వి రిజెక్ట్ ఎంత వెలుగును మనం తిరస్కరిస్తామో అంత అంధకారం వచ్చి కూర్చుంటారు రిజెక్ట్ తిరస్కరిస్తాం ఎస్ దాట్ విల్ బి ద మెషర్ of darkness that would come in anta andhakaram mana lopulu kochu i shared this before nendu mundu cheppane idi but let me share that again nenu marla cheppane vandi you know this room has got tremendous light ee okka gadilo goppa velugu unnadi but if we put a one switch okka switch ni gaan off chesestaru then somebody put off that switch evaru endu chesa switch ni off chestarandi babu off cheyaina what happened enjoy what happened in jaring cheppandi the measure of light that is rejected enta veluguna the measure of darkness that comes enta veluguna ite tiraskarincham anta anta andhakaram vachi koorchundi ikkada every time we reject the light of god's word devuni vakyapu veluguna tiraskarinchinappudalla you know what happens is there is darkness em jarugutadu ante andhakaram god does not create darkness devudu andhakaram srushtinchaledu he is light aina velugai unnadu his word is light aina vakyam velugai unnadu and when we reject the counsels of god devuni yokka aalochana mana tiraskarinchinappudu and go outside god's word devuni vakyaniki bayatiki velukunappudu and seek for god's will there akkada devuni chittanu vidigite remember you are groping in darkness neevu nemmadaga andhakaramlo dooru pothunnavu you are bringing in darkness neevu andhakaram aahvanisthunnavu i would like to encourage all of us and because marla mamallandaru kuda this is what paul was concerned about the believers in ephesus ephesus lona vishwasalu gurinchi paul ku varu so much about light and darkness here andhakaram velu gurinchi ento maatladutunnadu you know look at what he says in chapter 4 nalugo adhyayamlo and verse 18 18th vachanamlo verse 17 and 18 17 18th vachanamlo i must move on but i'm just let to come here nenu munduku vellalaga chestunnanu i say therefore and testify in the lord that he henceforth walk not as other gentiles walk in vanity of their mind quickly brother kabatti anyajalu nadachukonnatlu meeriki meedata nadachukona valadani prabhu nandu sakshyam ichchunnanu varaithe having the understanding having the understanding darkened varaithe andhakaramaina manasu galavare tama hrudayam kaatinyam you know the understanding darkened వారి యొక్క గ్రహింపు అంధకారం అయిపోయింది బట్ హి సేస్ దట్ యువర్ అండర్‌స్టాండింగ్ మే బి యు నో ఆఫ్ ది స్పిరిట్ మీ అండర్‌స్టాండింగ్ ఆత్మ విషయంలో కూడా అంధకారం అయిపోతుంది మీ ఎన్లైటెన్డ్ మీ యొక్క అండర్‌స్టాండింగ్ గ్రహింపు దట్స్ వాట్ హి ప్రేడ్ ఫర్ దెమ్ ప్రకాశించబడింది దట్ దేర్ అండర్‌స్టాండింగ్ మే బి ఎన్లైటెన్ అతను దాని గురించి ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నాడు వేర్ ఆస్ ద పీపుల్ వితౌట్ ది నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ క్రైస్ట్ their understanding is dark ekkadaithe yesu prabhu evarkaithe yesu prabhu ledo vaa mundugane aa lekka manasu so when we turn to chapter 5 again marla aidha adhyamana chusinappudu you know verse 15 we read that 15 vachana manam chadu see then that he walks circumspectly not as fools but as wise ajnanulu vale kaaka jnanulu vale nadachukonu vale ani jagrataga chusukonadi redeeming the time because the days are evil dinamulu cheddave ganaka meer samayamunu poniyaddu yeah 
redeeming the time samayamunu poniyaka because the days are evil endukante dinamulu chedavi paul right into the hebrews he says akkada hebrew rastu paul antadu as the day is approaching samayam dinam samipinchagolu gather to gather as many times as possible ఎంత ఇన్ని సార్లు కూడుకోగలుగుతారు అన్ని సార్లు కూడుకోండి అని అంటాడు పది ఇరవై నాలుగు హెబ్రియర్ పత్రిక యూనో సో వెన్ వి నో ద డేస్ ఆర్ ఈవన్ మనం దినమును చెడ్డమని తెలుసుకున్నప్పుడు ద కౌన్సిల్ ఎస్ అక్కడ చెప్తున్న ఆలోచన ఏంటంటే redeem the time సమయాన్ని పోనియొద్దు మేక్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆపర్చునిటీ ప్రతి అవకాశాన్ని ఉపయోగించుకోండి బై ఎవరీ ఆపర్చునిటీ ప్రతి అవకాశం ద్వారా ఫర్ వాట్ దేని కోసం టు బిల్డ్ అప్ అవర్ స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ మన ఆత్మీయ జీవితాలు కట్టుకోవడం కోసం to move on in this call and purpose of god ee pilupu uddesham loni munduku saagadani this is what paul is burdened about idenandi paul garu konna and this is what god is conveying to us manaku kuda prabhu present time ee prasthuta kaalam you know again verse 17 17th vachana lo therefore be not unwise avivekulu kaaka but understanding what the will of the lord is prabhu yokka chitta memito grahinchukonadi i would like to read that from another translation maro kanuvadalonchi ide bhaganni chadutan nenu i would like to read from the amplified amplified bible ninchi anetund anuvadanni chadutan ide matalnu I hope I'm not very fast today. ఈ రోజు నేను నా స్పీడ్ కి వెళ్తలేదు అని అనుకుంటున్నా. All right, thank you. వందనా రండి మీరు గ్రహించండి. Therefore do not be vague and thoughtless and foolish. మీరు బుద్ధి లేని వారుగా మూర్ఖులుగా ఉండొద్దు. But understanding అర్థం చేసుకోండి. And firm <coughs> firmly <coughs> grasping what the will of the lord is gani stiranga devun yokka chittam emito telusukonu but understanding ardham chesukondi grahinchukondi and firmly grasping stiranga gattiga pattukondi devun chitta neto what the will of the lord is devun chitta memai unnadani gattiga pattukondi is very important for us in this present time prasthutam unna kaalam undi idi chaala pramukhyamaina what the will of the lord is devuni chittam emito telusukunta firmly grasping stiram gattiga pattukovadam yes what the will of god is devuni chittam emito and we heard in the last two weeks gatha rendu varalu nunchi vintunna the will of god is devuni chittam emento not something abstract adhe kanabadani idi kaadu something very hazy edo adhi mabbuga unnadem kaadu but we saw from god's word devunu lekhanalu chusam god's word is full of a, a, a revelation of god's purpose devunu uddesham gurinchi tho nimpabadipoyinade devunu vakyam adu goppa vilugutho nimpabadinade god's word speaks about the will of god devunu vakyamu devunu chittam gurinchi maatladutundi moving according to his own purpose aina uddesham loniki uddesham choppu nadustundi moving in and moving with that purpose aina uddesham loniki uddesham dwara kadulutunnadi god is always motivated devuniki munduga anni telusu by one final and all inclusive object okay okati tudi lakshyam emito aniki spashtanga telusu which in the new testament language we call god's eternal purpose in his eternal son adi nothana nibandhana pa bhashalo maatadda kada nichyatthu kumaruni endu nichyatthu uddesham ayunnadu now we heard last week that we know god has is this great will of god devuniki goppa chittamuna is the purpose of god adhe danine devun uddesham anta and all other wills migani chittalanni are gathered into this great will which is the purpose of god devun uddesham ayunnatundi goppa chittam loniki migilni chittalanni kuda samliptam aipovu now we heard many other things manam anike vishayalu vinnu from god's word about this great will devun chittam and also the wills of god in our life mana jeevithamlo devuni chittalu gurinchu kuda vinna now i would like to go a little further concerning this ee vishayamlo nenu inka munduku velalanu the lord has laid this upon my heart na hrudayam meda prabhu pettini bharam vachhe remember one thing oka vishayam chodandi that god's will never change devuni yokka chittamu ennadu maradu 
God's will never changes. Devuni chittamu ennadu maradu. I shared uh, one or two thoughts on Wednesday. Budhavaru vakati rendu thalampulu Bible study lo cheppa. God's will never changes. Devuni chittamu marchabadu. God will not change his will. Devudu thana chittanni marchadu. His eternal will ఆది నిత్యత్వం ఇస్ ఇటర్నల్ పర్పస్ ఆది నిత్యత్వ ఉద్దేశం ఇస్ పర్పస్ ఇన్ ఇటర్నిటీ ఆది నిత్యత్వంలో నేను ఉద్దేశించాడు కెన్ నెవర్ బి చేంజ్ ఆ జన్నటికి మార్చబడదు ఆమెన్ 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 సెటిల్ దట్ లెట్ దేర్ బి ఏ ఫౌండేషన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ లేడ్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ మన హృదయాల్లో ఇది పునాదిగా వేయనివండి ఇట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ ఆది సారు శాశ్వత కాలానికి స్థాపించబడింది గాడ్స్ విల్ దేవుని చిత్తము of this purpose ee uddesham gurinchi could be changed for you and for me na korukunu nee korukunu adi marcha badagaladu does that make you surprised adi nimmalni aacharyam galigistundi ee maata god's will devuni chittamu the purpose under which god has called you could be changed deni uddesham nimitto ninnu nannu pilichadu adi marcha badagaladu For example you are saved according to his purpose I have uddesham cheppunane meeru I have been saved according to his purpose nenu kuda ayina uddesham cheppunu rakshinchabadda the into that great will of god the ad goppa devunu uddesham cheppu I can miss that will daani nenu kolpoyi pramadam God's will doesn't change devuni asthirattamaina chittu maatha it is established forever adi shashwata kaalaniki sthiraparichabadindi amen amen Now I am called to that will nenu daniki pilavabaddanu I can miss that dani nenu kolpoyi pramadam undi that will of god aa chittamu in my life could be changed na jeevithamlo marchabadachu does that shock you adi memalla aacharyam galigestundi that's the truth of god's word adi devuni vakyam satyam andi listen carefully jaatha vinandi example of israel israel yokka udaharana example of israel israel yokka udaharana they all were called out of egypt varandaru aigupthulo nundi bayitiki pilavaddaru moses said moses annadu god is calling you out devudu memmalanu bayitiki pilustunadu to bring you in memmalanu vere chotu lopala teesukovali i'm not getting into all those references for what i ek vachana anni nenu choopinchadu we know it manam erugudu in this house he is israel has been always a part israel ane vaadu eppudu kuda oka bhagam ayyadu mana ek sanghaniki so i'm not turning to all those references and because aa vachalalu ni chupinchadam ledhu god brought them out o devudu varu baiti teesukochu to bring them in lopal teesradaniki to the land that god promised to them to their fathers vaari pitharlaku vaagdhanam cheyabadinatundi aa bhoobhagalu ni teesukoradaniki vaaru baiti laagadu that mind of god devunu konna aa manasu was changed for that generation that was brought out of egypt ai gupta nunchi baitiki teesukura padina tarvanti taram vaari vishayalo maaripoyindi that will of god aa devunu chittu that mind of god aa devuni manasu was changed concerning them vaari vishayalo maarchukosukunnadu now turn with me to the book of numbers ippudu sankhya kaandam chudandi numbers sankhya kaandam chapter 14 14th adhyay and we all know that chapter as well ad manandaram irugudu adi most of us chaala mandi the book of numbers 14th adhyayam chapter 14 14th adhyayam sankhya kandam we all know the background dani venaka charitrayatho manu telusu 10 12 mandi vegulu varu manu telusu said we can never possess this land varlo 10 mandi annaru manu eppudaka bhoogam sodhana parichukalem akkada danavulu unnaru giants there quickly akkada dwanavulu unnaru Yes so we cannot manu dan swadhin parichukale two of them gandhi varlu iddaru matram joshua and caleb say yehoshua kaleb unnaru we are well able to possess the land manu dan swadhin parichukogalamu and we have heard this story so many times isn't it anek saarlu manu ee kathalu and we are tired to hear that again marla vini vini kuda alisipoyam yes or no avuna kada no some people switched off kondha mandi switch aagipoyindi i could see it on the meter here ikkada meter kanapadutundi naaku one bulb going and another one going another one going oka oka bulb aar pothundi you know that i got a panel here na daggara panel undandi i can see you here ee bulb aar pothundi nenu chustunnanu now listen carefully andu kosam jaathu vinandi look at what god said finally chivaraga prabhu em annadu chudandi 
you know uh, verse 21 yero yogato vachunu but as truly as i live all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the lord na jeevam thodu bhoomi antha yehova mahimato nindukoni undunu because all all because all those men which have seen my glory na mahiman chusi manchulandaru na susukriyam which i did in egypt nen aigupthulonu and in the wilderness aranyamulonu chesina susukriyam and they have tempted me varu nannu they have seen my glory varu na mahiman chusaru and my miracles susukriyam chusaru which i did in egypt i gupta lo cheyadu chusaru and also in the wilderness aranyam lo kuda chusaru which is beyond egypt adi i gupta daatina tarvata and have tempted me now ee saari nannu these 10 times 10 saarlu shodinchadu and have not hearkened to my voice na maatanu vinaledu surely nichchemaga they shall not see the land varu ee deshamunu choodaru which i swear unto their fathers nenu vaaru pitharlaku vaagdhanam chesanu they shall any of them that provoke me see it nannu alaksham chesina vallu evaru undanu choodaru but my servant caleb because he had another spirit with him and had followed me fully him will i bring to the land where unto i he went and his seed shall possess it na sevakudaina kalebu manchi manasu kaligi poorna or manasu tho nannu anusarinchina hetu chetha adadu pore deshamlo thana pravesha remember saints the door was closed ikkada dwaram moyibadindi for that whole generation aa taram varandari the prospect over their life when they left egypt was the promised land varu aigupta ni vidichu pettina appudu vaaru yokka aashayatante yokka vaagdhana upadesha that was the promised land adi vaagdhana upadeshamu var aasha which god swear unto their fathers vaaru pitharlaku pramaanam chesinatuvanti di I have shown them my glory. Na mahimar nenu varu chupinchanu. I have shown them my miracles. Na adbhutalu nenu chupinchanu. Both in Egypt. Aigupta lo chupinchanu. And also in the wilderness. Aranyam lo kuda chupinchanu. Rani. They honored not me. Nannu varu ganaparachaledu. They had no heart for my purpose. Na uddesha vishayamlo varu hrudayam ledu. And he says therefore. Andu gosu. I have changed my will. for them var vishayamlo na chittane marcheskunnanu for them var vishayamlo joshua and caleb will go yehoshua caleb will veltaru and a young generation that was birthed in the wilderness aranyamulo putti perigina varu maatrame veltaru those people will go in varu maatrame veltaru so god's purpose for israel was not changed israel yadala devuni yokka uddesham marchapadaledu amen but god's purpose for in these lives was changed ee jeevithallo devuni yokka uddesham marchapadindi these men ee manushulu all these men ee manushulandaru jeevitha who saw my glory na mahimanu chusina veeru who sang unto me na koruku paadina varu who sang unto me na korusu paadaru varu who built my tabernacle na pratyaksha gudaru nirmincharu all these men ee manushulandaro except for joshua and caleb yehoshua caleb lo modalu petti they will not migina var evaru vellaru god's mind god's will was changed for these people devuni manasu devuni chittu ee prajalu edlo maaripoyindi the greatest problem for them was var konnatu ondi goppa samasya entante their attitude var yokka Jeeva as we have been Madhati. hearing even in our devotions man odiyapkal dhyanalu kodu vintunna you know they came out of egypt var aigupta nunchi bayatu vachcharu egypt did not leave them aigupta maatru varni vidichi pettaledu you know their minds were always talking about egypt vari manasulu asthamanu aigupta gurinche maatladutu vastunna as i said i'm not getting into many references anek vachanal ni chupinchadam ledhu every time prathi sari they faced a trial shraman edurukunnappudu the trial of their faith vaari ek vishwasaniki parikshinchabadinappudu trial about whether it's water or uh, a food adi neeru daggara kaanunde bhojana daggara kaanunde kashtal daggara kaanunde they said we will go back mem tirigi vellipothaam antu undu we remember the things over in egypt akkada aigupthulo nenu maaku gnyapakam chestunnayi you know those so several times alasarlu in their minds 
they have gone back already or chala sar lenak velipoyaru manasullo only they physically they did not go back bhautikanga maatrame venaka velledu gaani manasu velipoyaru that egypt mind ah uh, yes egypt manasu that egypt attitude ah uh, yes egypt vidhanam that egypt mentality ah uh, egypt yokka manaka manasattva that the, the appreciation of egypt that was so alive in their life though they left egypt long back ఎంతో కాలం క్రిందట వారు వదిలిపెట్టినప్పటికీ ఐగుప్తుని మెచ్చుకుని బహుగా గొప్ప ఐగుప్తు కొరకు ఎంతో ప్రేమ కలిగి ఉన్నారు రిమంబర్ జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకుంటే వారిని నాశనం చేసేసి you have been saved and i have been saved from egypt manamu kuda aigupta nunchi rakshinchabadda from this world ee lokam nundi from the sin of this world ee lokam paapam nundi but gaani we have to take care of our mentality mana manasulu vishayalu jagrata padali mana vidhanalu paddhatulu our mind mana manasu that egypt mind aigupta manasu is destructive అది చాలా నాశనకరమైన సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ అదే జరిగింది వారికి యు నో ద లవ్ ఫర్ ఈజిప్ట్ వారు ఐగుప్తుల ఎంతో ప్రేమ కలిగి ఉన్నారు నో మెనీ టైమ్ when we talk to one another మనం ఒకరితో ఒకరు మాట్లాడుకుంటాం వి ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ అది మనం చూడొచ్చు ద లవ్ ఫర్ ఈజిప్ట్ ఇన్ us అది ఐగుప్తుల మన ప్రేమను మనం చూడొచ్చు సో మచ్ లవ్ ద వరల్డ్ యౌనస్తులు లోకము నిన్న ఫ్రెండ్షిప్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ లోకములో స్నేహితులు ప్రేమించు రిలేషన్షిప్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ లోకములో సంబంధాలు ప్రేమించు మై బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ మై సిస్టర్స్ ఎందుకు సహోదరి సహోదరులు ఐ వాంట్ టు టెల్ యు ఇట్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్ట్రాయ్ గాడ్స్ purpose in your life ee jeevithalo na jeevithalo devun uddeshanni nashanam chestundi so may god help us prabhu manaku sahayam cheyanu gaaka all the time anni saarlu that mindset mana manasulo the love and appreciation dani gurinchi prema you know, often we see you know we don't have to go anywhere ekkada gellalsin pandu status whatsapp lo status chuddu selisipothe varaku entha prema unnaro aigu theedala Yeah, that somebody is watching your status your status and everyone watch chustunaro if some <laughs> if you are posting it i have all the right to see that new than status le padtu na adhikari undu chuddaniki unna na and when you post it there you are going to something of yours will also seen there new you don't blame me for that no dan gunchi nindistha please do that see dear brothers and sisters dear sahodari sahodarla See now here is the mind of Egypt. Ikkada Aigupta manasunu manasu. The love and appreciation of Egypt. Aigupta yadala abhimanamu meppu korulu chodachu. Ultimately chivaraga it destroyed them. Vaari nashanam chesi odilu pettindi adi. Am I telling the truth or not? Nen satyam cheptunana leda. Bidai cheppandi. Main sach keh raha hu aur jhoot keh raha hu. Nen nijam cheptunana abaddal cheptunana. Aajkal jhoot bolne wala bahut hai. Abaddal cheppu vallu chaala mandi unnaru ippudu. మే బోల్ నా నైట్ చాతం కోన్ కోన్ ఐ యాల్ వాళ్ళ ఎవరన్నా దిని చెప్పాలను కొడను బట్ మై పాయింట్ ఇస్ ఇక్కడ నా విషయం ఏంటంటే ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ట్రూత్ ఇది సత్యమో లెట్స్ యాక్సెప్ట్ ద ట్రూత్ ఈ సత్యాన్ని అంగీకరిద్దాం లెట్స్ బి వార్న్ బై ద ట్రూత్ సత్యం ద్వారా హెచ్చరింపబడదాం వెదర్ ఇట్స్ యు ఆర్ మీ నీవు నేను ఐ యామ్ నాట్ ఫ్రీ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్ దీని నుంచి విడుదల పొందలేదు ఐ ఆల్సో హావ్ ఎ నేచురల్ మైండ్ నాకు శారీరకమైన మనసు కూడా ఉంది కార్నల్ మైండ్ ఈ శరీర సంబంధమైన మనసు ఉంది నో వండర్ పాల్ సేస్ ఇన్ రోమన్స్ రోమాలో పౌల్ చేస్తున్నాడు దిస్ కార్నల్ మైండ్ ఇస్ హోస్టైల్ టువర్డ్స్ గాడ్ ఈ ప్రకృతి సంబంధమైన మనసు దేవునికి విరోధమై ఉన్నది you know it is against god ee devuniki vithrekamai unnadi paul realized that paul than gurtinchadu in his own life tana santa jeevithamlo and so he wrote to the believers and the gospel me vishwasam rasadu this mind ee manasu is hostile towards god devuniki virodhamai unnadi saints of god devuni parishuddulara so what happened em jarugundi to this dear people of god who were saved by the blood of the lamb గొర్రె పిల్ల రక్తము ద్వారా రక్షించబడినటువంటి ప్రజలు నాశనం అయిపోయారు నాశనం చేయబడలేదు స్కూపింగ్ హ్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ తప్పించేటువంటి ఆ హస్తము ద్వారా ఒక ఎర్ర సముద్రం అవునా కాదా but they were destroyed varna var dwara nashinchabaddar by who said evare hastam dwara nashinchabaddar please remember that agnyapkam cheskon free lara devun hastam chotha i appreciate your answer ye ka jawab nak chal nachindi sahodara let's realize man gurtinchale 
So we are not in a theory class. Man, we are not in a theory class. But we tell the right answers. Sir, I am not job chapter. Amen. Of course, we must have the right answers. Man, sir, I am job chapter. But it should go beyond that. That is the minchu vella le. Please understand this. That is the sir. They were not destroyed by the hand of Pharaoh. Man, God put His hand there. And he said, "No further." And he destroyed the Egyptians there. Akari, I go up to learn about national. Pharaoh's mighty army was destroyed. Pharaoh ek sahijam national. And saved his people. We are rakshin chala. That very saved generation. Rakshin chala na twenty. Was destroyed by the hand of God. Devani hastam jada national chala bata ro. Yes. And that's very hard to accept. आलोचि This truth will find a registration within us today. नाग तेली दंडे ये सच्चे मन होते यालो मुद्रिन से बढ़तों दा लेदा अनेक मात्रों ना करने मन होंगे. Yes, they were not destroyed by the same Egypt or Egyptians where they were slaves. यक्कड़ा दासुलगा उन्नारो आ आयुक्तलु चैतवार नाशनम चेये बढ़ा लेदु. Yes. they were slaves at egypt in egypt ai guptulu varu dasulu ayunnaru even though they left egypt varu ai guptunu vidichina pudikini they continued in the slavery to egypt in their minds varu manasulo maatramu ai guptuku dasatvam vahistune unnaru entha bhayanka and this is dangerous idi bhayankaramaina apayakaramu you know saints they had no regard for god's will devuni chittam vishayamlo varuku ye maatru kuda gauravam ledhu god's will was something distant devuni yokka chittam entha dooram undi something they felt god will do for himself ayina kaayane chesukuntadla ayina chittam aithe yes anetuvanti vidhanam lo unnam they ignored all the miracles he did for them both in egypt and in the wilderness aranyamulonu mariyu aigupthulo chesinatuvadi soochakrilu anittu kuda marchipoya nirlakshyam chesaru saints of god devun parishudulara this is a great warning for you and for me neeku naaku idu goppa hechcharika ayyunnadi in on the apostle paul apostolana paulu refers to this story ee yokka kathanu cheptunadu this history of israel israel yokka ee charitra gurinchi cheptunadu while writing to the new testament churches krutta nibandhanapu sanghalaku tho maatladi maatladi first corinthians chapter 9 modati corinthians 9 adhyayam he talks about a race to be run ayana akkada parugu pandam gurinchi maatladutunnadu he speaks about a race a run ah parugu run parugu pandalu gurinchi maatladutunnadu akkada yes and how important is to run to the mark i lakshyam varaku parigattadu ante important he says that he is not like a boxer you know beating in the air gali lo kottutunnatuvante boxer laaga lene anantunnadu you know but he says that he is doing everything in order to obtain Pondu, or win pandu kovalani leka jayinchalani chestunnadu mottham antha kuda you know and see how he ends chapter 9 परगेवाड़न का But I keep under my body, and bring it unto into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Gani, okay, well, itar lagu prakritin chena taruvata. Nene, brushtu nai podo nene, mona ni 
నా శరీరమును he doesn't want to miss that purpose of god in his life tana jeevithamlo devuni yokka chittanni kolpodalchukoledu immediately after that and jarigina ventane he brings in the example of israel ventane padochayam israel yokka udaharana teesukostunnadu this great apostle paul he got to apostle in paul is talking about himself tana kosam maatladutunadu is talking about the saints of god in a corinth corinthilo na parishuddulu kosam maatladu he said let's run to the finish line manamu aa guriyaddaku cherukodam parigadam let's move on to that purpose aa uddeshamlo munduku saagadam he says i myself don't want to miss it na mattuku nenu dan kolpodalchukoledu i don't want to become a castaway a counterfeit nenu nakli vaadaga thol or miss the mark in my own life najithula a ek lakshya then he speaks the he brings in the example of you know the the children of israel akad israel yokka he also quotes that in the book of hebrews hebri patrikalo rastara now i'm not getting into all that <laughs> what i want to sum up here is god's eternal purpose never changes devuni nichchatapu sankalpamu marcha badadu ani cheppalanukunna god's will will never change devuni yokka chittamu marcha badadu but god's will concerning the children of israel who were brought out of egypt was changed aigupta lonchi baitiku tisuku raabadinatuvanti israel yedarlu maatram devuni yokka chittam marchabadipoyindi this the lord said you will not enter in neevu danalo praveshinchunnadu prabhu varu but joshua and caleb kevalo yehoshua and a young generation pro yavana taru maatrame in the wilderness aranyamalo putti perigina varu maatrame not you who saw my glory namah so himalaya miracles in egypt and in the wilderness adbhutalu chusinatundi meeru kaado because you did not take my word neevu na vakyam and live by my word na vakyam prakaranga jeevinchalu you live the way that you want to neevu ela jeevinchalu antunna vala jeevinchalu your soul was so much caught up with the things of egypt nee yokka manasu aigupta vishayallo entagano pattabadipoyunnade so my brothers and sisters it's very 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 important for us to understand this principle of god even in our life mana jeevithamlo devuni yokka ee niyamamunu ardham chesukodam chaala avasaramainnade the other example i want to bring the two Maroka. examples i want to Maroka out of two a witnesses god establishes a witness iddaru valana sakshyam iddari sakshyam valana nirdharinchabadtunnadu two or three witnesses iddaru leka so i am drawing two witnesses to in ikkada iddaru sakshyam this move on to that example rendu udaharana i just want to read again the book of first corinthians in chapter 10 pada adhyayamu modati kodandi pada adhyayam and what paul says about the great warning akada goppa hichchinna paul speak to the new testament church సేమ్ స్పిరిచువల్ మీట్ did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them that rock was christ that rock was christ yes but with many of them god was not well pleased for they were overthrown in the wilderness now these things were our examples to the indian we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted verse 6 brother please read aro vachana modati korinda aro 16 var aashinchina prakaram manu chedda vaatu aashinchukunnatlu ee sangathalu manaku drushtantamlu unnave we read verse 11 11th vachana ee sangathalu drushtantamulu unto them for ensembles 
and they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come modati korinthi 10 11 ee sangathulu drushtantamuluga variki sambhavinchu yugantamandonna manaku buddhi kalugutake vrayabadinu wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall తాను నిలుచుచున్నానని తలంచుకునివాడు పడకుండునట్లు జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకోవడానికి జాగ్రత్తగా చూసుకో ఇది చాలా భయంకరమైన కఠినమైన దీనిని మనం ఎలా నిర్లక్ష్యం చేయగలం దిస్ వాస్ ద హార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఎ ఫాదర్ టు హిస్ స్పిరిచువల్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఈ హృదయ ఒక తండ్రి యొక్క హృదయం ఆత్మీయ పిల్లల కోసం రాస్తా హౌ క్యాన్ వి ఇగ్నోర్ ఎలా మనం నిర్లక్ష్యం చేయగలం ఇస్ ద వార్నింగ్ హి సెడ్ ఇది హెచ్చరిక మన హి బ్రాట్ హిస్ ఓన్ లైఫ్ ఇన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తన యొక్క జీవితంలో ఒక ఉదాహరణగా పెట్టి హి సెడ్స్ ఐ డు నాట్ వాంట్ టు మిస్ దట్ ఎండ్ దట్ ఫినిష్ లైన్ ఇన్ మై నా మట్టుకు నేను ఆ యొక్క లక్ష్యమును కోల్పోదల్చుకోలేదు ఆ గురియద్దకు చేరుకోవాలి సో సెయింట్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దేవన్ పరిశుద్ధులారా గాడ్స్ విల్ దేవుని చిత్తము never changes marcha bad ennadu marcha bad but god's will devuni chittam that great will and purpose of god a goppa devuni chittam in my life could be changed na jeevithamlo marcha badagaladu a goppa uddesham amen amen can you understand din ardham cheskovali you find it hard to agree with me meer naaku take time samayam teeskondi aalochinchandi but you'd have to either agree or disagree new angikarincha angikarincha ledante ledu yeah edo nirnayam teesukovalsinde now i would like to bring another example maroka udaharana teesukostha and that's the example of saul adi rajaina saul when we turn to the book of first samuel modati samuel grantham chapter 10 varaja yeah you know Adam several Adam. new testament interpreting teachers find it very hard క్రొత్త నిబంధనకు అనువాదకులు ఈ సత్యాలను అంగీకరించడం చాలా కష్టం ఈ నియమాలను అంగీకరించడం బట్ పీపుల్ లైక్ ది అపోస్టల్ పాల్ యూస్ దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అపోస్టల్ అయిన పాల్ లాంటి వాళ్ళు మాత్రం when we turn to the book of uh, for samuel మొదటి సమయల గ్రంథము and we will turn to chapter 10 10వ అధ్యాయం yes You know there are a lot of teachers of the Bible today they want to put all the blame on God and all the bl- and all the responsibility on God. Inadu krutta nibandana po krutta krutta nibandana bodhakulu andaru kuda ninda anta devuni meda estaru ledha baadhyata ante devuni meda estaru. Gaani and also responsibility on God. Devuni meda aayinde baadhyata antaru. If you make a mistake tappu chesam ante why God did not stop me. Devudu nannu enduku aapu cheyaledu anta. Adhe dan parapadu devunde aapu cheyaledu. You understand what I'm saying? అర్థమవుతుందండి ఇట్స్ ఆల్ ఆన్ గాడ్ సమస్తం దేవుని మీదే బట్ దాట్స్ నాట్ ద గాడ్ వి రీడ్ ఇన్ ద బైబుల్ అలాంటి దేవుని గురించి కదా మన బైబిల్ లో చూస్తున్నాం సీన్ ఇట్ బోత్ ఇన్ ద న్యూ టెస్టమెంట్ అండ్ ద ఓల్డ్ టెస్టమెంట్ ఆత నిబంధన కృత నిబంధన రూట్ లో చూస్తున్నాం దేవుడు మార్చబడలేదు నీదర్ హిస్ నేచర్ చేంజ్ ఆయన స్వభావం మార్చలేదు నాట్ హిస్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ చేంజ్ ఆయన నియమాలు మార్చబడలేదు మై గాడ్ హెల్ప్ us నౌ టర్న్ ఇన్ టు ఫస్ట్ సామ్యుయల్ చాప్టర్ 10 ఒకదో అధ్యాయం మొదటి సమయల్ yes now this is what samuel said unto saul the king verse 8 ఎనిమిదవ వచనం and thou shall go down before me to gilgal and behold i will come down unto thee to offer burnt offerings to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings seven days shall thou tarry seven days shall thou tarry till i come to thee and show thee what thou shall నాకంటే ముందు నీవు గుల్గాలనకు వెళ్ళగా దహన బలులను బలులను సమాధాన బలులను అర్పించుటకై నేను నీ యొద్దకు దిగవత్తును నీ నేను నీ యొద్దకు వచ్చి నీవు చేయవలసిన దానిని నీకు చేయి వరకు ఏడు దినముల పాటు నీవు అచ్చట నిలవలను రైట్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఏం జరిగింది చాప్టర్ థర్టీన్ వి టర్న్ టు దాట్ పదమూడో అధ్యాయము you know for want of time ఐ వాంట్ రీడ్ మెనీ వర్స్ అనేక వచనాలు నేను చూడడం లేదు యునో వి సీ దాట్ you know um 
Saul and his men were surrounded by the Philistines. Saul and Maria that are children of the Lord, too, are coming. Naro. And um, you know, he realized Saul realized, you know, that Samuel should come. Other grahin chadus Samuel got his need. And verse eight. You know the verse now. And he tarried seven days. Akar yedu dinam bolu agad. According to the set time that Samuel had appointed, but Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people. were scattered from him samuel samuel gilgalu naku raakapovutayu janulu tan yaddu nundi chedarapovutayu saulu choochadu now listen very carefully that we nundi he is surrounded by the enemy akkada the philistines have come in great numbers nalavaipula shatrulu philistine vachu muttaru and the people followed him trembling we read in verse 7 mana edo vachulo chustam kada akkada prajalu bayapadapadu modalu pettaru perhaps saul said the prophet of god is coming anukunnaru kada bahusha prophet of god is coming devan pravakta vastunadu vastunadu he told me to wait for 7 days ayana edo roju lagamannadu akkada agadam he told me to wait for 7 days ayana nannu naatho cheppadu edo roju lagamani and so i am waiting and goes in and waits kuni so uh, he said perhaps to the people other bahusha prajal to you know don't go vellu povaddu stay on undandi but the people and prajalu were scattering or going away from him akka nunchi vellu povadam modalu pettaru you know so he was fearful athalu bhay padatunna modalu then we read in verse 8 9 9th vachana and saul said bring hither a burnt offering to me da Dahana. and peace offerings and he offered the burnt offering dahana balalanu samadhana balalanu na yaddoku teesukon ramman cheppi dahana bal arpinchu what happened and it came to pass as soon as he made an end of the offering atadu dahana bali arpinchina chalinchina ventane behold samuel came samuel vachenu and saul went out to meet him saul velladu atanu kalusukodaniki that he might salute him అతనికి నమస్కారం చేద్దాం నువ్వు చేసిన పని ఏమిటి నేను చూసాను జనులు నా యొద్ధ నుండి నువ్వు నిర్ణయ కాలమును నువ్వు రాకపోతున్నావు the philistines will come down now upon me to gilgal inkan i have not made supplication unto the lord i forced myself inkan yehova nu shanti parisunpe philistilu gilgalunaku vachi na meda kodaranukuni na antata nene sahasinchi and offered burnt offering now now this is what saul did idan saul gar chesina you know it's it's very sad idu chala dukkaram you know saul was tested ikkada saul parikshinchabaddadu as israel was tested ee reethiga israel parikshinchabaddadu he was tested at two points ikkada rendu vishayalu parikshinchabaddadu that points were a rendu vishayalu faith and obedience vishwasamu mariyu and this is Vidhyata. where israel was also tested ikkada ee rendu vishayalu israel kuda parikshinchabaddadu faith and the obedience var vishwasamu vidheyata now coming back to the story of uh, saul or the history of saul saul gar yokka charitra dagirku manam vachu chusinatlayite he was in a critical situation other klistamaina paristhitilo unnadu in chapter 13 13th adhyayam yes he was in a critical situation other klistamaina paristhitilo unnadu the question was ikkada prashna entante would this faith allow him to wait for god athanlo unnatuvanta vishwasam devuni koraku vechukuni undela chestunda wait for god devuni koraku vechukuni undela chestunda yes that was one challenge adu thana mundunna oka oka challenge adi would this faith ee vishwasamu allow him to wait for god devuni koraku vechukuni undela chestunda regardless of the situation paristhithi ela unna pudigini whatever may be visible before him athana mundu edi kanapadina pudigini the word was vakyam entante wait till i come nenu vachu varuku aagamani now the test was will 
he have the faith atanuko to wait for god devuni maataku vechukuni undadaniki vishwasam unnada so he was tested there akada atanu parikshinchabadadu and obedience atani yaka vishwasam vidheyata parikshinchabadadu you know so we know that even in our own lives mana jeevithamlo kuda mana chodochu you know when we are pushed to a corner like this ilanti oka కోనలోనికి మనం నెట్టివేయబడినప్పుడు ఇలాంటి కోనలోనికి మనం నెట్టివేయబడినప్పుడు యు నో ఎవరీథింగ్ ఇస్ యు నో కమింగ్ అగైన్స్ట్ యు సమస్తం నీకు వెతిరేకం వచ్చిన అండ్ ఎవరీథింగ్ షౌట్స్ ఆన్ యు ప్రతిదీ నిన్ను మీద వచ్చేది నువ్వు ఏం చేయడం లేదు ఎందుకు పనికి రా అని అన్నప్పుడు యు ఆర్ డూయింగ్ నథింగ్ నువ్వు ఏం చేయడం లేదు are you familiar with that voice ee shabdam meeku baaga alavatai undi are tum kuch nahi kar rahe em cheyadu dambu baita hai urukina maddula kuchunnadu antadu dimag to hai na burrundu kada aalochinchu vayya you have some mind here working in is something here in the upstairs then do something a pai kelu kuch aalochinchu vayya chudu edar chey that is the shout adhe keka vinapadu antadu i faced many times nen anuk jeevitham sir if you have not faced i don't know which world are you living meer edirkoledante meer ye lokalono naake teledu yeah do something edo odu chey yes edo odu chey tondraga chey the loud shout many a time we hear in our minds is do something mana manasulone vintunta edo odu cheyira nuvu ani that's the time the real test comes appude sarena tvandi pariksha vastunnadi that is the testing time adi pariksha samayam adi whether you are carnal new sharir sambandhavaina or your spiritual atma sambandhavaina when the lord said prabhu cheppina appudu wait till i come nenu chuvaraku aagu wait till i come nenu vachu varaku aagu yes and i know that how often we have responded to those pressures shouting on us mana meda vastunnatuvante aa ottudulaku manu enni saarlu pratispandinchi lobadipoleda the pressure is act on your carnal mind nee sharira manasu prakaranga nu pani chey anetuvante idi ottudi to act on your impulses nee yokka naadi edu cheptunda prakaranga chey that is one choice adu oka avakasham or leda spiritually wait for god aatmeeyanga devunu koraku vechukuni undu as he has said till i come nenu vachu varaku aagumu annattuga aagu yes amen 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 now that was a great test for saul adi goppa pariksha indi saul i want to ask you brothers and sisters yes sahodari sahodarlara can god count on us devudu manalano మన మీద ఆధారపడగలడామని నెగ్గుతామని అండ్ వి కెన్ వెయిట్ ఆన్ గాడ్ దేవుని కొరకు మనం వేచుకుంటామని ఆయన మన మీద ఆధారపడతాడు దట్ హి హస్ స్పోకెన్ ఆయన మాట్లాడాడు దట్ హి విల్ గైడ్ us ఆయన మనల్ని నడిపిస్తాడని హి విల్ రివీల్ హిస్ విల్ టు us ఆయన చిత్తం మనకు బయలుపరుస్తాడని ఆర్ వి కమ్ అండర్ ప్రెషర్ లేదా మనం ఒత్తిడి కింద వచ్చి ప్రెషర్ ఆఫ్ పేరెంట్స్ తల్లిదండ్రుల ఒత్తిడి ప్రెషర్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ మన స్నేహితుల ఒత్తిడి పీర్ ప్రెషర్ ఇతర ఓ ఐ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ఆల్ ప్రెషర్ ఇతర ఒత్తిడి ఏమైనా నాకు తెలియదు అనేక రకాలైన ఒత్తిడిలో మనం ఒత్తినప్పుడు మనం లోబడిపోతామా ప్రెషర్ ఆఫ్ కలీగ్స్ తోటి పనిచేసే వారి ఒత్తిడి కెన్ గాడ్ కౌంట్ ఆన్ అస్ మన దేవుడు మన మీద ఆధారపడి ఉండగల ఐ టెల్ యు బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ సిస్టర్స్ గాడ్స్ రెమ్నెంట్ ద ఓవర్ కమింగ్ చర్చ్ విల్ బి ఎ పీపుల్ ఆన్ హూమ్ గాడ్ కెన్ కౌంట్ శేషించబడిన ప్రజలు జయ జయవంతులైన ప్రజలు ఎవరంటే దేవుడు ఎవరినైతే నమ్మగలడో ఆధారపడగలడు వారే కౌంట్ ఆన్ us not to precipitate things in our own మన సొంత ప్రకారంగా చేయడం కాదు మనకి ఇష్టం వచ్చినట్టుగా చేయడం కాదు to initiate things of our own మనకు కావాల్సినట్టుగా make things happen of our own మన స్వతహాగా చేసుకు జరిగిపోవడం కాదు దేవుని చిత్త ప్రకారంగా వాక్య ప్రకారంగా జరగాలి will we precipitate things of our own manaku maname cheskuntu velipodama or we will not precipitate things leda of our own manamo 
జీవితంలో Yes you and I would look like a fools Neevu nenu murkula kanapadtam varaku vechukuni unnataithe prarthana chestunna waiting vechukuni untunna waiting vechukuni unna pray prarthana chestunna you tell to brothers to sahodaralu cheppandi they will always say we'll pray me prarthana chestunna are kuch karo yaar edo or cheyira i mean this this is so we see the persuasion is always go by what the carnal mind says sharirika manasu emaithe cheptundo dan ala cheskuntu velipona manalnu vembadistundado aa swaramu you know it's very very important brothers and sisters idi chaala pramukhyamaina prilar and now how squarely he put all these on in the situations yeah is paristhithulu ochinaapudu entha chakkaga anni chakkaga he said several things here ikkada anek vishayalu cheptunadu you know to justify athana thanu sariga cheptunadu he did things enduku nenu ala cheyalasi vachindi ani cheptunadu his own way athana sontha maru number 1 mother i saw the people were scattering nenu prajalu challa chedra ayipodu chusanu and that you came late neevel alshyam gochu samuel samuel garu you were late neevu alshyam chesavayya yeah thirdly mudavuga the philistines had gathered around me na chuttu philistilu muttadu sir and therefore kabatti i had no the way na idi tappa mara margulenu dai chesi nan ardham cheskonu pravakta garu don't you realize that i am justified nen cheptunna in what i have done nen chesin dantlo dan nikala mukhyamaina kaaranam meeku ardham avutunda i forced myself and because na antha nena cheyal sachu so this was the first test idi modati pariksha saul in his life tana jeevithamlo secondly rendavadiga we see again in chapter 15 15th adhyayamlo marla manam chustam and may god help us to see this again by the holy spirit parishuddhaatma dwara manaku manam chusinatluga parishuddhaatma dwara manaku sahayam cheyandi gaaka the lord's command prabhu yokka aajnya ante word to saul was to destroy the amalekites and the king agag completely amalekulanu sampurnamuga kanikirimpaga samastha nashanam cheyalani devune kaajnya ide yes in verse 9 we read tumdo vachana man chustunna verse 8 and 9 he took agag the king of amalekites alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword was nan but Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatlings and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them because but everything that was vile and refused that they destroyed utterly All right we will we'll not read hindi for saving time illu la man chadalandi so we read here ikkada chadutunna kada they spared agag avaru hagagunu pattukoni vacharu champaledu and the best of the sheep akkada shreshtamaina tondi krovvina gorra pillalu iskochu they spared varu champaledu vaatlu nirmalam cheyaledu you know he had his own idea of doing things ta devudu cheppina aajnana nerveshanlo tana santa purana upayoginchadu not so bad and cheddade kaadu good things manchi chesadu you know simple it may appear in our eyes mana kallaku man drushtiki adi chala maamulu ga kanapadachu and it one may not appear even sinful adi paapanga kuda kanapadadu yes but these things can betray us and evi manulano yes now saul was attempting to judge 
between good and bad carnally saulu manchidi cheddedane daani mundu atadu teerpu teerustunnadu nyayam teesi cheptunnadu saul was attempting to judge between yeah good and bad carnally shaarirakanga atadu manchidani cheddadani teerpu teerchadaniki atadu prayatnam chestunnadu akada trying to judge teerpu teerchadaniki prayatristunnadu with a carnal mind shaarirakamaina manasu atadu teerpu teerustunnadu atni idi manchidi adi cheddadi ani శారీరక మనసుతో శారీరక విధానంలో దాన్ని తీర్పిస్తున్నాడు సో హి వాస్ యూసింగ్ అగైన్ హిస్ కార్నల్ మైండ్ అతడు తన శారీరకమైన మనసును ఉపయోగిస్తున్నాడు అండ్ దెన్ హి థాట్ అతడు అనుకున్నాడు కదా అప్పుడు దట్ హి కుడ్ బ్రింగ్ ద గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ మంచి శారీరక సంబంధమైన తీసుకురావచ్చు హి కుడ్ బ్రింగ్ ఇట్ టు గాడ్ ఆ విత్ మంచి శారీరక సంబంధమైన దేవుని తీసుకురావచ్చు సో ఇట్స్ ఎ బ్యాడ్ కార్నాలిటీ అండ్ గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ అది మంచి శారీర తత్వము చెడ్డ సో హి థాట్ దట్ గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ కుడ్ బి యూస్ఫుల్ టు గాడ్ మంచి శరీర తత్వము దేవునికి ఉపయోగంగా ఉంటాడు అనుకున్నా యు నో హౌ ఆఫన్ వి ఆర్ ఫౌండ్ దేర్ ఇన్నో సార్లు మనం కూడా అక్కడ కనబడతామండి పౌరు చౌలు గారు చెప్తారు సే yes to me or you can say no to me too i appreciate those who said no అవునని చెప్పగలరా నో అని చెప్పగలుగుతారు అవునని చెప్పొచ్చు నో అని కూడా చెప్పొచ్చు మీరు యు నో మెనీ ఎట్ టైమ్ వి హ్ ఫౌండ్ దే చాలా సార్లు మనం కూడా అలా చేస్తుంటాం బ్యాడ్ కార్నాలిటీ అండ్ గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ మంచి శరీర సంబంధమైన జడ్జ్‌మెంట్స్ ఆర్ డన్ బై ద కార్నల్ మైండ్ ఈ రకమైనటువంటి తీర్పులు శరీర సంబంధమైన మనసుతోటి మనం చేస్తుంటాం ఎంత భయంకరమైన yes and therefore he said kabatta dar when he was asked why did you do this enduku nu idu chesa ani adigithe he said that i thought i can use this and offer it unto god nenu danni ni upayoginchi devuniki arpidam anukuntunnanu arpanaga yes you know so bring this good carnality and offer it unto god ee manchi sharira sambandhamaina devuniki arpana garipidam anukuntunnanu దేవునికి సమర్పిందాం వాట్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇందులో పొరపాటు ఏముందండి వాట్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ దట్ దాంట్లో పొరపాటు ఏముంది యు నో దిస్ ఇస్ గుడ్ ఇది చాలా మంచిది ఇట్స్ గుడ్ కార్నాల్ ఇది మంచి శరీర సంబంధమైనది అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఈవెన్ కెయిన్ డిడ్ కయేను కూడా అదే రీతిగా చేశాడు కెయిన్ కయేను కయేను కూడా అదే రీతిగా అర్పించాడు దేవునికి శరీర సంబంధం కెయిన్ అండ్ కెయిన్ అండ్ ఏబుల్ కయేన్ ఏబుల్ సమ్ ఆయక ఘటనలో మనకు కనబడతాయి హిందీ మే కైన్ బోల్తే సో కాబట్టి డు యు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఐ యామ్ సేయింగ్ నేను అర్థం అవుతుంది నేను ఏం చెప్తున్నాను దిస్ ఇస్ ద ప్రాబ్లం విత్ బ్యాడ్ కార్నాలిటీ అండ్ గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ ఈ చెడ్డ మంచి శరీర సంబంధంతో ఇది చెప్తున్నాను వి సీ దట్ కెయిన్ వాస్ రూల్డ్ బై గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ కయ్యను నేను చోరి కరకతు నై లేకి ఆయ మంచి శరీర తత్వంతో ఐ హావ్ నాట్ బ్రాట్ ఇట్ యు నో ఫ్రమ్ సమ్వేర్ ఏదో దొంగతనం నాట్ ఫ్రమ్ సమ్బడీస్ ఫీల్ ఎవర్ దగ్గర నుంచి తీసుకురాలేదు ఇట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ మై ఓన్ ఫీల్ నా సొంత పొరల నుంచి తీసుకొచ్చాను వై నాట్ ఐ ఆఫర్ దిస్ అండ్ టు గాడ్ దేవునికి నేను దీని ఎందుకు అర్పించాను సేన్స్ గుడ్ కార్నాలిటీ హస్ ఆల్వేస్ బీన్ ఎ స్పాయిలర్ in our lives ఈ మంచి శరీర సంబంధమైనవి మన జీవితంలో ఎప్పుడూ నాశన కారణాలుగా ఉన్నాయి have you faced that new year dan nidrukunnara meeru ha yes 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 nobody is responding yavaru cheptaru ledha javabu is everyone lost prathi varu kolpoy akkade kelipoyindha mee manasu please daiche cheppandi may god help us to understand this. prabhu manaku sahayam cheyandi ga ardham chesukunnanu so he was caught up with this good carnality ee manchi sharir sambandhamaina tarato itanu patta padipoyadu he thought that he said that he spared them to offer it unto god vaadu nenduku migil chesadu ante devuni karpin arpiddam ani yes see verse 15 15th verse and saul said they have brought them from the amalekites for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the lord 
అందుకు సౌలు నుండి that which is of the bad carnality we obeyed you 100% aa chadda sambandhamaina sharir tattvanni memo nee maata cheppuna vandaku vanda chatu nashanam chesa but that which look to the good carnality hamara le nahi ye aapke liye manchiga kanapadutunnatuvanti sharir sambandhamaina maatram maa kosam kaadu nee kosame devunu kosame teesukochamandi pastor garu present it to god devuniki samarpinchara you know saints there are many things for us to learn here ikkada nerchukodaniki anekamaina vishayalu unnai parishudha and i do not want to move away from the burden of god devuni yokka bharu nunchi vere gelapadaniki but these are things that would help us ee vishayalu devuni bharu nardham chestunna sahay padtha prabhu manaku sahayam cheyina gaaka these carnal this carnal mind ee sharira sambandhamaina manasu which is hostile towards god devuniki virodhamainadi and his ways aina margalaku virodhamaini and his will aina chittani virodhamaindi take us away from god's great will devun yokka goppa chittam nundi ayana uddesham nundi manalu dooranga teesukogaladu yes so listen very carefully my brothers and sisters jathu venadu priya sahodari sahodari you know it's 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 something that makes you tremble in your own heart nee hrudayamlo goppa it's a fearful thing dhada puttistadi chala bhayankaramaina idi bhayam nu kaligistadi vishaya yes and now what happened to samuel some saul saul ke em jarigindo chudandi what what did the uh, you know what saul say to samuel saul samuel gar ke em cheptunnaru you know all his hidden things were exposed by samuel atar daachabadina samasthanu kuda battabayalu chesadu he said i obeyed the samuel. lord see verse 20 <laughs> and saul said unto samuel yea i have obeyed the voice of the lord nenu yehova maata viniyunnanu yes all right and then as we read on further taro chavutunna 20 avachanalo okay let me just read that we won't read in hindi man telugu lo chadala um i have obeyed the voice of the lord and have gone the way which the lord sent me and have brought agag the king of amalek uh, amalek and have utterly destroyed the amalekites but the people took the spoil sheep and oxen the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed to sacrifice under the lord thy god in gilgal and samuel said had the lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness <laughs> as iniquity uh, is an is as iniquity and idolatry because thou has rejected the word of the lord he has also rejected thee from being So here we read ikkada man chavutunna something terrible happened ikkada bhayankaram anedi jarigindi ikkada Samuel said Samuel annadu obedience is better than sacrifice vidheta chukuta arpan lanchu in other words he said there's no substitute for obedience na maata ardham vidheta ku baduluga em evale no we have heard many messages on this ee vakya mission anek vakya prasangal on this for long ikkada nenu ekku kaalu samayam gadapunu nevu question cheppane undi as we heard right at the beginning aarambhalo mana viniyunnu israel was tested on two points israelelu rendu vishayalalo parikshinchukuntaru vishwasamu vidheyata and saul was also tested on those two points saul kuda rendu ee rendu pointul degara test obedience vishwasamu vidhey degara parikshinchabadu you know and so the lord said here ikkada andukosu prabhu annadu obedience is better than sacrifice aajnya gaikonuta valla arpinchadu kante shreshtham yet saul protested 
దానిని పౌలు అడ్డుకుంటున్నాడు you know in verse 20 he says yeriyosu antadu verse 19 you know Tommy. it was told him wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the lord ikkada samuel 19 antadu kada nu devunu maata vinaledu nee endu cheda yehova maata vinaka doopudu meeda yagapadani drushti keedu chesithu vanenu he will in the sight of the lord దేవుని దృష్టిలో దృష్టి అతని యొక్క మనస్సు హృదయము దైవ సేవకుడు చెప్పిన దాన్ని అంగీకరించడానికి సిద్ధంగా లేదు అప్పుడు ఈ మాట చెప్పినప్పుడు he has rejected thee ninno tereskarinchada anna i have sinned appudu antna nenu paapam chesanu not before that dani mundu okkodam ledu he protested dani ni addukuntunadu i obeyed the voice devunu maatu vinnana ya pastor garu see saints the heart is so deceitful ee yokka hrudayam chaala mosakaramainadi and desperately wicked adi ento dushtamainadi having to find a way out బయటకు వెళ్ళిపోవడానికి మార్గం వెతుకుతా ఉంటది యూనో హిస్ రిపెండెన్స్ వాస్ సూపర్ఫిషియల్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ చాప్టర్ 13 13వ అధ్యాయంలోను 15వ అధ్యాయంలో కూడా అతని యొక్క పశ్చాత్తాపం అంతా కూడా నకిలీది అండ్ ఈవెన్ హియర్ ఇక్కడ కూడా యూనో ఇట్ సేస్ దట్ హి సేస్ ఐ హావ్ సిన్డ్ నేను పాపం చేశాను ఐ హావ్ ట్రాన్స్గ్రెస్ ద కమాండ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ దేవుని యొక్క మాటకు నేను విరోధంగా పాపం చేశాను అండ్ థై వర్డ్స్ నీ మాటలు బికాజ్ యూనో so we see here he it appeared like a real repentance in the heart of saul ikkada ela kanapadutundante hrudayam saul yokku hrudayamlo nijamaina pachchatapam tho unnatundi now i said it was not a true repentance adi nijamaina pachchatapam kaadu you may wonder why am i saying nen enduga maata cheptunnaru on what authority am i saying ee adhikaranu cheptunnaru anuchu meeru meeku telusu vishayam he went on persecuting david david nu aa tarvata koda himsinchadam chestune unnadu now listen carefully jaatha vinandi you know we see the same problem that the same thing that happened in chapter 13 is the same thing that governed them in chapter 15 13th chapter lo jarigindi 15th chapter nu koda athana meedu yelabadu chestunnadu you know chapter 13 again let's go back to 13 13th chapter lo kamalla veladam and verse 11 11th verse and samuel said what has thou done no ye je saul said because i saw the people were scattered from me nene ikkada prajalu chidru podam chusano yes he had fear athana bhayam unnade fear bhayam of people going away prajalu chadara povuta people going away ప్రజలు చెదిరిపోతున్న భయం కుడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఫెయిత్ ఇన్ గాడ్ దేవునిలో విశ్వాసం ఉంచలేకపోతున్నాడు హీ వాస్ వన్ వాస్ ఆల్వేస్ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ హిస్ రీజనింగ్ మైండ్ అతడు కారణాలు చెప్పేటువంటి మనసు మీద ఆధారపడ వ్యక్తిత్వం ఫెయిత్ యు హావ్ టు షట్ అవుట్ యువర్ మైండ్ మెనీ ఎ టైమ్ పరిశుద్ధులారా మీకంటూ విశ్వాసం ఉంటే మీ యొక్క కారణాలు చెప్పేటువంటి మనసును మూసివేయాలి he saw people agar prajalu chusadu he saw people prajalu chusadu fear bhayamo people are leaving me prajalu nudrestharu what will happen to me em jarugutadu naaku you can trust god devunu and again in chapter 15 15th verse adhyayamlo it says here ikkada antnadu because i feared the people nenu prajalu chusi bayapaddanu and obeyed their voice vaari maatalu vinnanu antnadu saints of god devun parishuddhulara if you are living by the fear a carnal fear the fear of people the fear of things i tell you it's going to be dangerous for our walk with god sharir sambandhamaina bhayamu prajalato unnatundi bhayamu ee bhayamunu gaana manu poshisthe devun yokka uddeshamlo nadichetundi nadakaku pedda pramadanga maaripothadu you know remember saints of god when we have faith marku vishwasam unnam we are able to trust him aina namana vishwasam how often fear grips us 
అనేక సార్లు మనకి ఈ శరీర సంబంధమైన మనసు మన జీవితంలోని వచ్చి మనలను తన వంశంలో వశంలో తీసుకుంటూ చూస్తాడు Oh may God help us brothers. Prabhu man sahayam chedu. Here Saul lost it. Ikkada Saul kolpayadu. Yes. You know in chapter 13 we read like this. Padamoda adhyayalo man chustam. Yes. Verse 14. 14th vachana. Now thy kingdom shall not continue. Nee rajyamu konasagadu. Saul could have continued in God's will for him to be a king till the end of his life tana jeevitamu muginche varuku kuda thadu rajuga konasaginchagalu the lord has sought him a man after his own heart devudu tana hrudayanu saru vyaktini kanugunnadu the lord has commanded him to be a captain over his people devudu tana ikka prajalaku nyayakudu kondalani because thou has not kept that which the lord commanded thee devudu neeku ajnapinchadanu cheyaledu yes verse 13 and samuel said unto saul thou hast done foolishly neevu morkunga vyavaram thou hast not kept the commandment of the lord thy god devun yokka maatakuni vidhedu which he commanded thee neeku ajnapinchina chodu for now would the lord have established thy kingdom upon israel forever israel meeda sada kaalamu sthiraparchutaku yehova kalinchindena shall not continue nee rajya ite nee rajyam nilavadu god changed his mind దేవుడు తన మనసును మార్చుకున్నాడు దేవుడు తన చిత్తాన్ని మార్చుకున్నాడు నీవు కొనసాగలేవు తొలగించబడ్డావు నీ ఎడలో నా చిత్తాన్ని మార్చుకున్నాను దేవుని పరిశుద్ధులారా అతని యొక్క పశ్చాత్తాపం నకిలీది దేవుడు ముందుగానే చెప్పారు దట్ హి హస్ చోసెన్ అనదర్ మ్యాన్ మరొక వ్యక్తిని ఎదుర్కొ అండ్ అగైన్ చాప్టర్ 15 13వ అధ్యాయంలో వర్స్ 26 26వ వచనం అండ్ సామ్యుయల్ సెడ్ అండర్ ది సాల్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ రిటర్న్ విత్ ది ఫర్ దా హస్ రిజెక్టెడ్ ది వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ ది లార్డ్ అండ్ ది లార్డ్ హస్ రిజెక్టెడ్ ది ఫ్రమ్ బీయింగ్ కింగ్ ఓవర్ ఇజ్రాయెల్ అందుకు సమయేలు నీతో కూడా నేను తిరిగి రాను నువ్వు యహో ఆజ్ఞను విసర్జించితే గనుక ఇస్రాయల్ మీద రాజుగా ఉండకుండాయి that is better than thou velu povalanu tirugaga saulu atani duppata chengu pattukonnandanu adi chinigenu appudu samuel atani telanu nedu yehova israel rajyamunu nee cheetilo nundi laagi vesi nee kante uttamudaina nee poriguvaniki dani appaginchi unnadu as i said his repentance wherein he said i have sinned against god nen devuniki vidrekanga paapam chesanu anatundi pachatha it was superficial adantha nakili di because when god revealed his will that the kingdom is taken away from him and given to another he would have submitted to another atani yaddha nunchi ayaka rajyam devudu toliginchadani cheppinappudu saulu ataniki lobadi undalsindi yes then tarvata if saul had truly repented saul ga nijanga pachchata he said lord prabhu i step down nenu kinna digipothunnanu and let david come in david rani but he hunted after that man's life rani atanam pranam teesilu chusadu saul cannot be changed parishudhulara saul marchabadadu he is a carnal man atadu sharir sambandhamina dominated and would not honor god's word devunu vakyaniki gauravinchadu aa shariramaina manasu saints of god devunu parishudhulara ah i only finished the beginning aarambha maatrame muginchanu ippudu varaku and you are ready to finish it right me danne me diary lo mosiyadan siddhanga unnaru meer oh may god help us prabhu manaku sahayam cheyandi kaaka it's so necessary my brothers and sisters to really take this word seriously in your hearts ee vakyamunu serious ga teesukovalsina avasaram entho unnadi the lord made one thing very clear ఒక విషయం దేవుడు చాలా స్పష్టంగా చేస్తాడు గత వారం చూసాం 
You know, there's a great prospect. Goppa Ashan. God can see today in his people. Devudu thana prajalalo goppa Ashanu ayani chodgarala. and the law of that prospect as we heard last week gata varam vinnam kada a dharma shastram yokka of god's word aasha entante devun yokka vakya padikaram kinda manam jeevinchali the law of the prospect is the government of god's word devuni vakya padikaram kinda manam prajalalo jeevinchalani dharma shastram yokka aashay unnadi devunu vakya yokka aashay unnadi devun yokka धर्मशास्त्रु they were 40 years on probation in the wilderness aranyamulo 40 samsaralu tirugutha unna saal jo hai it was a trial time varki parikshinchinatundi samayam adi trial ka time ట్రయల్ కోసం ఇచ్చినటువంటి సమయం అది నలభై సంవత్సరాలు అండ్ దాట్స్ వై మోసెస్ సెడ్ అందుకే మోసే అన్నాడు యు నో వాట్ స్టుడ్ సో మచ్ ఓవర్ దేమ్ ఇన్ ద విల్డర్నెస్ వాస్ వన్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్స్ వర్డ్ అరణ్యంలో దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యం అనేది చాలా ప్రాముఖ్యమై ఉన్నది వారికి అది అర్థం చేసుకోలేదు అంగీకరించలేదు ద టెస్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ దే హార్ట్ వారి హృదయాలని పరీక్షించటలో was one of faith and obedience varyaka vishwasamu vidhayata i'm going to close muginchipothunanu because you want me to close meer nanu muginchalanu kostunnaru avuna kada you love to see that i close here today we will continue next week ikkada muginchalanu meer aashpadutunnaru you know deuteronomy chapter 8 dithiya upadesh kandam 8th adhyayam and verse 2 rendu vachana Oh may God help us brothers and sisters. Prabhu manak sahayam chendi oka teesavadu sahoda. And thou shall remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee to prove thee to know what was in thine heart. Ni a Then the I... most important thing, whether, amen, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no, whether it was in humbling or trials to prove, one thing that stood out was whether, whether you would keep his commandments or no. Yes, brother. రెండవ వచ్చు నీవు ఆయన ఆజ్ఞను గైకొందువో లేదో అని నిన్ను శోధించి నీ హృదయంలో ఉన్న తెలుసుకున్నటకు నిన్ను అణచి నిమిత్తమును అరణ్యములో ఈ నలుగురు సంవత్సరములు ఏ జాన్నే కేలియే దేవుడని యెహోవా నిన్ను ఊరికేస్తున్న మార్గమంతా నిన్ను జ్ఞాపకం చేస్తాడు ఆహారం వల్లనే కాక యెహోవా సెలవిచ్చిన ప్రతి మాట వల్ల నరేగా ఊరికుదురని నీకు తెలియజేయటకు ఆయన నిన్ను అణచి నీకు ఆకలి చేసి కరేగా గాని యా నహి that was the crux that is the important words achala pramukh whether thou would obey his word aina matalu nivu gai kontava ledani telusukodam kosam in all the trials they had var kaliginatundi shramalanni kodam thing was this mukhyamaina ide whether you will obey the word or not devuni mataku lobadtava leda whether my word will govern you or not 
నా యొక్క వాక్యము నీ మీద ఏలుబడి చేస్తాదా నేను చెప్పిన దాని విషయంలో విశ్వాసం విధేయత ఉంటుందా లేదా మై వర్డ్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ ఏ స్థానము నీ హృదయంలో నా వాక్యానికి ఉంటుందని దేవుని పరిశుద్ధులారా టుడే ఆల్సో ఈ రోజు కూడా ఎవ్రీ ట్రస్ట్ అండ్ ట్రయల్ ఇస్ గవర్న్ బై దిస్ ప్రతి పరీక్ష శ్రమ దీని మీద ఆధారపడి ఉంది దా వుడ్ అస్ కీప్ హిస్ కమాండ్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ నో నీవు ఆయన ఆజ్ఞను గైకుంటావా లేదా ఇన్ ఆల్ అవర్ సిట్యుయేషన్స్ మన పరిస్థితులన్నిట్లో ఇన్ ఆల్ అవర్ ట్రయల్స్ మన శ్రమలన్నీ ఇన్ ఆల్ అవర్ డిఫికల్టీస్ మన అన్ని కష్టాలలో రిమెంబర్ ఒక విషయం జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకోండి హి ఇస్ ఆల్వేస్ దే ఐ ఎప్పుడు ఉన్నాడు అక్కడ మే గాడ్ హెల్ప్ us ప్రభు మనకు సహాయం చేయండి ఐ యామ్ గోయింగ్ టు క్లోజ్ హియర్ ఇక్కడ నేను ముగిస్తున్నాను ఇక్కడ ఐ షుడ్ హావ్ గోన్ ఆన్ ఇంకా ముందుకు వెళ్ళగలను బట్ గాని మే గాడ్ హెల్ప్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ us ప్రభు మన అందరికి సహాయం చేయండి ట్రయల్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ జర్నీ మన యొక్క యాత్రపు శ్రమలు ఇన్ దిస్ విల్డర్నెస్ ఈ అరణ్యంలో our probation here manaku samayam padina the times of our trials manaku shramalo anetundi is only for one thing okay vision whether we would keep his word or not aina maatanu gaikuntama leda god's will devuni chittam will never change marchabadu god's purpose can never change devuni ku uddesham marchabadu according to his purpose aina manna tanu uddesham chuppuna rakshinchadu according to his eternal will aina nichepu uddesham nunchi rakshinchadu but his will for you and me could be changed niyadala nayadala aa kaligina chittam marchabadu amen may god help us i want to tell you you know so many of god's children aneka mandi devuna bedda the way దేవుని యొక్క మార్గాన్ని కోల్పోయారు తొలగిపోయారు వారు ఇంకా గుర్తించలేకపోయారు ఐగుప్తు ఎంతో వారిని ఏలబడి చేస్తున్నారు వారు అనుకుంటున్నారు కదా మేము ఇంకా వాగ్దాన ఉద్దేశంకి వెళ్తున్నాము అటువంటి మోసం నుండి తప్పించారు ఈ నాడు అనేక మంది దేవుని గుడ్లు అక్కడ కనబడుతున్నారు మీ అందరి కొరకు నా ప్రార్థన ఇదే మనము మోసపూరితమైన ముందుగానే అనుకున్నటువంటి అటువంటి ఆలోచనతో మనం జీవించుకుంటూ ఉందము గాక అవర్ కార్నల్ కన్క్లూషన్స్ మన యొక్క శారీర సంబంధం మన మంచి శరీర సంబంధమైన గాడ్ కెనాట్ బి సో బ్యాడ్ దేవుడు జాయ్ థామస్ ఇస్ ప్రీచింగ్ జాయ్ థామస్ గారు ప్రసంగం చేసినట్టుగా దేవుడు అంత చెడ్డోడు కాదే అలాంటి తలంపు సో బ్యాడ్ దేవుడు అంత చెడ్డోడేం కాదు నేను ముగించేస్తాను లేచింది and seek the lord's face devuni ko hrudayam honestly and sincerely hrudaya porkanga nijayatika yadardhanga man devuni mokam chudam thank you jesus we have heard a very serious counsel thank you jesus <coughs> i don't intend to repeat but you have heard god these things happen for our admonition and to warn us that such things may not happen 
in our lives and in our midst. And I've seen it happening all the time. <clears throat> how careful, how sensitive I ought to be and we ought to be. The good is very destructive, can rob us. That intellect, yes, not submitted to the Holy Spirit, can be dangerous to us. There are many things we heard. We are heard by the Spirit, there is so much there. But remember, let's be wise. Yes. Knowing what the will of God is, let's live. Let us walk wisely, knowing what the will of God is. May God help all of us, my brothers and my sisters. Let not the seed fall to the wayside. But God has sown it in our hearts. And let's seek the Lord for understanding. Lord, Open the spiritual eyes of my understanding now, Lord. Lest it be taken away by the wicked one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May God help us. God will hear you. God will answer you. If we genuinely reach out to him and seek for help and have a true repentance, not like Saul. He said, I have sinned. I have sinned against God. But his attitude towards God never changed. God's will that was made known God's mind, another will take your place. He could not accept it. <clears throat> Thus he proved that he will continue to live in his carnality. Dominated by his carnal nature. Willing to let go. <clears throat> that soul man. Oh, what a great warning for us today. May God help us brothers and sisters. These are not mere stories told to us to live some kind of moral life. But this is God's word, as Paul said. It's a word to admonish us and correct us that such a thing may not happen with us. So take it, my brothers and sisters. May God help us. We'll continue, God willing, the next week. But let us have a grip on what is the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. The Christmas Son says. Father, we are <coughs> humbled by your word. We see where we really stand. Oh God, 
We thank you for the convictions that you brought upon us. Oh God, knowing your will, knowing your purpose, we can lose it. What a sad thing, Lord. You have given us the example of Israel, the example of Saul. Oh God, we want to have a true repentant heart. A heart that would turn to thee in true repentance and allow your Holy Spirit to take control of our lives. Lord, we don't want these things to happen to us. They serve as an example for us. Lord, help us to take heed. Help me to take heed. That I will not be in that position where I fail in my faith and my obedience to thee. Faith and obedience, twice tested, Israel and Saul, and they failed. Lord, it can happen to any of us. Give us your grace, your mercy, your strength, that we may not offer the good carnality to thee. Oh, what a terrible thing it is. We are carnal by nature. You are changing us, but yet the carnality still remains in us. Oh God, we pray that you would cleanse us, purify us by thy blood, by thy Holy Spirit. Bring us to that place of true repentance <laughs> and acknowledging that we are wrong, not from our lips, but from our hearts. Oh, we see that the unrepentant heart of Saul, a false repentance. Let it not be from our lips, but our hearts, Lord. Oh God, cleanse us, purify us, that we may hold on to that will of thine, that big will of thine, that purpose of thine. Oh God, oh, these are days, Lord, when you are opening our eyes to see the reality of this life, the reality of our own lives, which is so much, Lord, in need of your grace and mercy day by day. Help us, Lord, help us. We cry out to thee for grace and mercy. Cleanse us and purify us. And bring us to that place where, O oh God, we may not fall short of your glory. We may not fall short of your standard which you have set for us. We look unto thee, our great redeemer, our great redeemer and friend. Oh God, we just cry out to you that such a thing may not happen to any one of us. Lord, help us. Help us, we pray. Help us to stand on that ground of holiness. That holiness and righteousness. That, Lord, we will exercise faith in every situation. And, Lord, we may have that voice of obedience, the heart of obedience. Obeying all that you have said and spoken to us. Yes, oh God, we wait upon you. We seek your face. Cleanse us and purify us. Cleanse us, Lord, cleanse us. That there may be no, the spirit of Saul may not be in us. The spirit of Israel. That rebellious spirit, a spirit of unbelief may not be in us. Cleanse us, Lord. Purify us. <coughs> Purify every portion of our being. That, O oh God, O oh God, we may stand righteous before you. We thank thee and praise thee and bless thee.